in. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Jay Sermak. I am self-coined the trainer extraordinaire. Uh, I used to call myself a trainer and people asked what gym, so I decided to add extraordinaire to it. And so far it is yet to be disputed. So one of the things that I do with Keller Williams is teach the models and systems and a lot around technology. So typically today, I would be in my Coral Springs Market Center in sunny South Florida teaching a class, but now thanks to the power of Zoom, we decided to open this up to everybody just saying, hey, welcome for being here. And I, if you can learn today with Facebook and Facebook ads, we know that in the shifting market, it's time for social media marketing and today's a great day to get that started. All right, we're up to 35 people. So I'm gonna minimize my screen out of the view there and I'm going to shrink my command screen a little bit so that I do not have overflow. Perfect, so hopefully you guys have been in command and if you haven't yet, um, command you get into it from agent.kb.com. And the best way I've learned to explain command is your cell phone, right? And the reason I say your cell phone is I don't think anybody on this call right now still has a flip phone with buttons. I know they're trying to make a comeback, but they're gone. We all have a smartphone, and that smartphone is what Jason Abrams calls your remote control of your life, meaning this one device has access to all of your email, all of your contacts, your Facebook, your, your pictures, everything you want to run your life. So that's why we call it the remote control of your life. Well, the goal of command is to bring all the things you'd use in real estate into one central place. Because today, if I'm a real estate agent without command, I have a text message and email from my phone. I send you to an MLS website with alerts. I send you to a separate website to get stuff from me. I might send you marketing from another system. I could then be sending you uh, contracts from another system. I mean, that's just five systems right there. No wonder we're exhausted and no wonder the consumer's confused on this experience. So Gary Keller had the foresight to see that the world was moving to technology and thank God that he did because today, this is more important than ever to be on those stuff. So the neat thing is we're going to be leveraging this technology to actually help our clients with the transaction and bulletproof our transaction, basically just by being able to stay in touch with them. Now you're seeing my command dashboard. If you've never been in here, if you click the KW icon, it's a hidden feature that it will pop out a tray of all what we call applets. So just like my phone, I have all my contacts here. Once you get them added, I'm gonna have tasks and smart plans, which is automation. And our focus today is mainly around campaigns. And a campaign could be an email campaign, uh, direct mail postcards, a social media campaign for Facebook and Twitter for free, and paid ads with Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and even Google ads. However, knowing that there's so many choices out there, we can't really be an expert at all of it. So what I'm an expert in, I should say, or not an expert, but what I'm proficient in and getting better at every day is the Facebook side of it. And I know more of us are on Facebook than ever. And one of the things that we need to do as an agent right now is protect our business and keep our costs down. So one of the reasons I say that is because there is a Z out there in the world looking to take some of our business called Zillow. Now, I'm not saying they're good or bad or evil or anything. They're just a business who wasn't making money by you buying leads from them today. Zillow, though, has a, the most website traffic of any real estate home app out there, meaning they get 160 million visitors a month. And you're like, whoa, how can we compete against that? You guys, Facebook gets 2 billion users a month. And right now, there's probably 2 billion users on there today because everyone's at home using this. So this format means I can get those same leads that Zillow gets for a heck of a lot cheaper. Because today, a Zillow lead might cost you $50 to $55 is the average, meaning you might pay them $1,000 a month, $500 a month to own a zip code. And then once you actually get someone to buy or sell, that's averaging to about $50 to $60 per lead today. I'm in South Florida and in Fort Lauderdale, we now have Zillow buying homes here. So Zillow is now going to give me, the realtor, a free lead and because they have a license in Florida, they're going to sell that lead to me at 35% referral fee. So that $55 lead I used to get for a flat fee is now going to cost me anywhere from $2,500 to $3,600, depending on the price range and the referral. Seem a little off to you? That's, that's not making more money. That's, that's scary. That's just looking at how they're going to make more money and I make less. So what I wanna to share today is how we can leverage social media 
with Facebook and actually have leads either come in automatically or there. So the first thing we're going to do is go to campaigns. So I can give you an overview of this. Now, I like starting with free because we want to lead with revenue. So I'm going to start with the free tool first so that I teach you how for free you could do some marketing with social media to Facebook and Twitter at the same time from command and schedule out posts to go out. However, I'll start off with the fact that you have what's called paid ads. This is where you actually spend money and generate leads or clicks or things there. I'm running an ad right now promoting my mobile app. Um, so far, I've spent $23, gotten 1,300 people to see it. I can't get a bus bench for $23 and get 1,300 people to see this. 46 people clicked on it. Now there's no leads because I didn't do a lead on this. And I'll explain what that means, but I just want you to show that I'm actually using this as well as teaching it. And we're gonna spend the later half of the class on what do I do with paid ads. Emails will be here when we're ready for the email system. And I did do postcards. So if you wanna do postcards for just listed, just sold, you can do postcards in here as well. But I'm gonna start with what's called social posts, which are free. Now. There's two ways to do a social post. Now, a social post is gonna start with a schedule. So here is today, and you're gonna to see today at 10 a.m., I had a post scheduled to go out for both Facebook and Twitter. That's the icons you're seeing there. Now, I don't have anything for Thursday, so we're gonna do a schedule for Thursday, and I already have a couple things ready for Friday. So I can start scheduling by the week. I can even switch this to schedule for a whole month. So what's neat is I've actually got schedules. You're gonna see every Friday I have a post. Now you're wondering, what did you do for a Friday post? I'm gonna show you what's called a neighborhood video. I decided to highlight a different video every Friday. So this is a great way to create content for free and schedule it to systematically go out and keep your consumers updated. Now, a lot of people ask me, Jay, does this go on your personal page? Where does this go? So we're a business, which means Facebook counts it as a violation if you post directly to your personal page, business things. So they will not allow us to post to your personal page. I'll show you how you connect, connect to your account, but it's going to go to a business page. So if you don't have a business page yet for real estate, you're gonna to wanna to create one. Now that's Facebook's rules. Twitter, you can use any Twitter account. You don't need a business account for Twitter. And you don't need uh, one when I show you the Instagram ads, you don't need one for Instagram either. Today, this social scheduler for free can connect me with two accounts. They're here at the bottom of the screen, connected profiles for my real estate business page on Facebook, which is the J team in Fort Lauderdale. And then I have a Twitter account because I finally went back to Twitter after attending Tony Giordano's class on social media because there are powerful tools on Twitter. Even if I as a person don't wanna use it, I just wanna be where my clients are. And this will schedule a post to both of these for free. Now, in the future, we will get Instagram in here. It's not here yet for free posting. We're also working on a relationship with LinkedIn and Nextdoor. So those are some new other social media platforms coming soon, but still, two social media channels for free to schedule a post scheduler is powerful. Now, you're probably wondering, you know, I've heard of this before. It's called Hootsuite. Let me preface, Hootsuite is a third-party company, and Facebook does not like it meaning you can use Hootsuite and it will schedule posts to a bunch of programs. However, Facebook deems it as being inauthentic and it will not rank as high. You won't get as many views or results. Here's what's different. Facebook built this with us. So you can tell your clients that you have a strategic alliance with Facebook. No other real estate company or not even Zillow has this, guys. We've been in a relationship with them for three years building this tool and building the ad tool I'm gonna to show you. So I'm now putting this as one of my listing presentations to say, you guys, when we list your home, I have a strategic partnership with Facebook and Google to make sure that we maximize the exposure of your home to more people. It's true, you're not lying. I don't spend a million dollars to do it, but I just wanted you to know that because I think that's really neat. So our goal is to actually be able to schedule posts. And the other reason is maybe you're like me, I get distracted by videos online. I caught myself this afternoon looking at a post on Facebook and the next thing I know, I lost 20 minutes to different YouTube clips and video clips in Facebook. It's distracting. So another great reason that you can use this is it will allow you to work with Facebook from your business source of command, meaning I'm not accidentally getting lost by all the cool posts on Facebook that are distracting 
I'm being purposeful in my business to do this. And one of the things you're going to want to look at when you're time blocking is I used to do all these posts every day in the morning manually every day. Now, thanks to this tool, I can plan out a whole month in advance and do more. So that's the first thing I want to show. Now, on the left-hand side, you're seeing my week of March 22nd to March 28th. So basically from Sunday till Monday. So here are my posts from Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. I didn't do anything. I had a scheduled post for today on Wednesday. I had a post scheduled now. I have two posts scheduled for Friday. One of them is going to be a post for my website in the morning, and one's going to be an afternoon video about a neighborhood um, in Coral Springs, actually, because we're teaching in Coral Springs today. Here is what's going to happen, and eventually when these post, I'm going to see all the analytics in here. So now you can actually have a social media strategy from this. Now, if you don't have your accounts connected yet, it's going to say manage your accounts here, and this takes you to settings and command. So just like your phone, you use you connect it to the social media apps you use, meaning Facebook, Twitter, all that stuff here. I will say, if you haven't done this yet, when you connect, there are two versions of Facebook and two versions of Twitter. So one is Facebook post scheduling. This is for free. A lot of people ask me, Jay, it looks like it's your personal account because it says it here, but when I come to manage or connect more, it'll give me a prompt to choose which page am I managing. So you're gonna pick your page and you can manage more than one. So I can actually manage my J team one and I'm actually doing this for recruiting and here for training. So I can connect more than one page to this and actually schedule posts for multiple business pages. That's just one thing. There's also one for Twitter. Now this is the free tool. If you scroll down, there's also a version in here for paid. So Facebook ad manager is the paid campaigns and there's one for Twitter as well. I only use Facebook ads for paying. I use for free Facebook and Twitter. So that's where you can go to settings is in the right hand side, lower right hand corner, you'll have the ability to manage it there. So here are the posts I can create, but let's talk the easy button. What's the easiest way to post something to social media? Maybe you're not a social media expert. Maybe you haven't studied it yet. That's okay, we have you covered. So we have something called a suggested quick post. This means the text and the post and content is ready to go, it literally is an easy button, kind of like the Staples easy button. This is legitimately easy. So I'll show you first, we have what's called a video campaign. And maybe you've seen one of these cute little create your own neighborhood videos. This will create a video about a neighborhood, automatically add the music, add your branding to it, let you modify the data, and will create a neighborhood highlight. Because it was so easy and I can do it in less than a minute, that's why I decided to make this my Friday post. And every Friday, I post a highlight of a different neighborhood. Because there's plenty of neighborhoods in my city, in my county. Might as well just highlight something different every week. Or if I'm working in a neighborhood, maybe once a month, I just update that one neighborhood's update. So I'm going to show you that one here in a second. You've also got some social posts below. So these are pre-written with text messages. I love these because they already have emojis built in. So if you aren't using emojis, I love them. Oops, I clicked on it. So here you're seeing what it's gonna do. It's gonna open this to say, hey, I've already typed in the information. By the way, that's the link to my mobile app. It already has it. I didn't have to type any of this. It already has a graphic that it designed. So I can come here to the crop button and show you, this is a graphic that they already made for me. I don't have to do anything to this. It's already done. It's already got my information here. Now I can upload my logo if I want, or here's coming from the office, it's optional. So if you don't want your office branding on it, you can close this out, but it actually did this for me. I can now rotate it from left to have my logo be on the left or the logo be on the right. And here's the neat thing, I can schedule this to go out. So I can schedule this for a day, maybe I'll schedule it for next week, or publish it immediately, which means it goes out right now. I'm gonna schedule this. And I don't have any content for next week. So I'm going to go to next week, maybe April. Maybe I'll do it Thursday, April 2nd. It defaults to 10 a.m., but you can make it earlier or later in the day if you want. So I have it scheduled. It's already connected to Facebook. And I'm just going to check a box here to go to Twitter for me. And when I preview this post, ta-da, I've got a post. I didn't have to create it. It was done for me. I just clicked a button to schedule when this goes out. You guys, there's like six of these versions in here and I'll show you how to rotate between different ones. This is a, you don't have to come up with the design. You don't have to come up with the script. You literally click a button and it will schedule the post for you to go out. 
I'm good with this one. So I'm gonna actually schedule this while we're here. I'm not modifying anything. Schedule, this looks good. Hit schedule post. And I just created a post for next week. You can do that for today, for next week, very simply. Now that was one example here. They've also got another version that says, if you love this app and you're downtown, click here. So this is a second version of a different app. It will still promote to my house. And if I hover my mouse here, there's the script. If you love looking at homes in your downtime, downtime, download my new app. It's got local insights, blah, 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 dream away. And there's the link to my app. The link, by the way, will be clickable on Facebook when it gets there. Now, there's other versions here. If you click the shuffle button, I can switch this out because here is the really cool KW app video. So if you haven't seen this one yet, it's high energy, it's fun, it's a promotional video, really professionally done. And you literally can hit a share button and quickly send out this message. So I don't have to type anything, I hit a share button and that will go out. So that's another way that I can leverage this little quick share. And look, there's a different version of that same app. So maybe I don't wanna post this every day because it's the same message. Maybe once a month, I just post a different version. And once a month, I wanna keep highlighting that I have a new app, I have a new app. So these are some really easy to use ones that you can uh, use there. To do, you don't get to edit the link. Um, it's actually in there, Dave, so you have to sign into your app. If you wanna to go to consumer on the left-hand side under settings, you'll get your link there. Uh, if you still have issues, I'll help you. What I've learned about the app guys, because Dave is asking, he can't edit the link or it's not showing in his app. Um, you have to sign into the app as a consumer or the app won't work. So if you open the app the first time, it's gonna say log in or create an account. You don't have a login because it's a consumer app. It's not an agent app, but you just create a consumer account when you log in, it'll be linked to you and branded. And then when you share the app, it'll have your link in it. Oh, um, I know what you're saying, sorry. Uh, you said that your link wasn't there. I got it. Uh, it's under your marketing profile, Dave. Your link is missing from your marketing profile in settings. So in settings where we connected our stuff here with all the apps, under connect settings, marketing profile, I've learned that this comes from it at the bottom of this list. Here is your branded app link, that's blank. If you fix it, then those auto posts will have your link in there, but thanks for asking, that's perfect. So that's how you can get in there, but look, then it's just click and go. You guys can literally schedule, that's four posts. Here's one I've already used, but I haven't used this one yet. So that's five ones, six, seven, these two are different. Eight, I haven't used that one yet, and then the video. So there's like literally eight quick posts, nine, that's a different one, 10, you guys, there's tons of them, 11. I mean, there's tons to go through. You guys can literally program, in this case, 11 different days with different posts promoting your app and spread them out over the next couple months. So I love those quick posts. And then let me show you this cute little create your own neighborhood video. This is gonna blow your, blow your mind because I'll be able to do this one really quick. So if I click here, create your own neighborhood, you're gonna search for a neighborhood. Now, this should work for any neighborhood you're looking, but we don't have neighborhoods everywhere yet everywhere yet. So I'll show you how you can use this template and even modify it to make your own neighborhood if you want. So I'm going to type in a neighborhood. Uh, let's see, I've already done a couple. How about Pompano Beach? I haven't done that one in a while. So I'm going to search for Pompano Beach in my area. There's a bunch of them here and I'm actually going to do maybe the neighborhood of uh, Pompano Beach East. When I click next, this is going to go get the data from me. Remember those, what we call Kelly snaps where they already have the data? Let me explain this to you. So this populated some data for me. Now here's the trick. The neighborhood name came from next door. So if you don't agree with it, guess what? Change it. I can just call this Pompano Beach Neighborhoods. I literally can call it anything I want. So if you don't have your neighborhood in here, just pick any neighborhood name, it doesn't matter. And you can make this video custom to any neighborhood you want or any name you wanna give it. Average home price, now what I don't like is all these numbers and the dot five oh. I don't think anyone buys a house at 50 cents on the dollar. I mean, that'd be cool, but we don't do that. So what I would do instead is maybe round this up. So it looks like maybe just 395. Clearly get the correct data to put in here if you don't have it. I do know home prices are on the rise there. Average price per square foot, same concept. Maybe just round it to a number that makes sense because people, their mind can't process all these random numbers. It's holding steady. There are 64 homes for sale. now. This didn't ask me single family home, condo, rental. 
So if the numbers seem off to you, it's probably because it's everything in the area, commercial, rental. So just change the number to a local number. If you, you have this data in the MLS, you can get it from, um, I know in our offices, we have a company called Trend Graphics that can look up neighborhood data from the MLS. So if you want to make sure the data is accurate, just go verify it somewhere and then type in the numbers that you want. I'll leave it on 64 homes for sale. Average days on market, it's probably high because we have a high-end home as well. I might just round that to 100. Clearly, it's subjective. You can change it, but I love the fact that I can modify it. Now, it's going to highlight three great things, daytime leisure, luxury culture, and travelers are here. To me, daytime leisure and travelers are similar. So I'm going to click this one, and you have an entire list of things to talk about living in that neighborhood. So what do you like about it, right? There's great things. There's light, late night leisure, live experiences. I think we've got live music, live stuff. So I'm going to say uh, actually nature because of the beach. So daytime leisure, luxury culture, and nature are three big things I want to highlight about the neighborhood. So if you don't like the three they suggested, change it. So here's the layout. What's the name of the neighborhood? What's the price? Are homes going up or down? What's the square footage? How many homes are for sale and days on market? Everything in red with an asterisk is required. What are three things you wanna highlight about living there? The next section is you, so it already has my picture, but you can change it if you have a different picture. Like if you wanna do it as a neighborhood, you might even put a picture of you in the neighborhood. You can also change your information here. It does need a job title. I like real estate consultant. You can say neighborhood expert, whatever you want to say. Um, and then it's got your email address and phone number are some things that it needs. And then the brokerage information. Now this will need your broker's logo. Um, I've recently switched to show Keller Williams because I want to get more referrals out of the area. But you would use the local office logo. Agent license number, good. It's no longer required. It was yesterday. And broker number isn't required. But if it is in your state, follow the state rules. And then there's an ownership statement. That's it. That's these three sections of data. If you don't touch it, it already has this information filled in, has your agent information filled in, market center information should be filled in. And then I just click the next button and it's going to make a video for me automatically. So what I love about this is I can make a video in really less than a minute once I have my numbers beforehand. So if you're really studying the market, you should know these numbers. You should be a neighborhood expert and really study. So get the numbers first from the MLS, verify it. Ta-da, my video's done. So I'm gonna try playing this over the Zoom, but I want you to see how cute this little video is. Auto-generated, I didn't do anything to make it except type the data in. It has today's dates on it. Here's the latest information from around the neighborhood. There's the average home price. See how getting rid of the pennies makes it fit better? I rounded that number, so I got rid of the cents, so it fits the box better. 64 homes are for sale in this area, which might include condos. Average days of market, I changed it to 100 days. Here's what people say about living here. Do you see how this has music, animations, and the data you put in there, and it's auto-generated. Luxury culture, nature, daytime leisure, get more information, and it's promoting your KW app, by the way. So it's nice, it's cute, it's simple to go. I love this, it's a little billboard with my information on it, saying, hey, call your local realtor, done. How neat was that? So I save and post this, and guess what? Here's the video ready to go, and it even posts a nice little section for me. So it's simple, it's easy. This is one of my favorite easy to use video tools because I know we know video is king and it was just fun to make. Now, one of the things I might say is I might actually use a link from my page to talk about the neighborhood. So my aha is I like this message. Hey neighbor, want to learn about this market area? Here you go. Um, do you want to know more about this? Let's chat. I'm actually going to change this out. So if you've never been to the new KW website, I'll show you mine jteamglobal.com or, or .kb.com. And I'm actually gonna look up this neighborhood. So we did Pompano Beach. And I'm gonna show you why I'm doing this is because why not give them the neighborhood data and have them sign up? Um, yes, uh, you'll be able to copy it and save it. Uh, um, Lynn Ann, you'll be able to actually save the video under designs and then you can go to Instagram directly to post the video directly. So I'm gonna do, this is city. So Pompano Beach East was the neighborhood name. All right, I'll just stick with Pompano Beach. 
So one of the things that I'm doing here is trying to put, there it is, neighborhoods. Now why I'm doing it this way is because I want to show that my website has this. So instead of saying, let's talk, which you can, here's my thing I want to do. I actually want to take them to the neighborhood page because here's the data. Here's what's happening. And then here's some stuff I didn't tell them yet. What do people say about living here? What are the schools nearby? What are the Yelp restaurants? So I literally can send them this page like it's a neighborhood update. I'm going to copy that link, come back to my post, check out the real time information on our new website and just literally post the link right there. Now it's not the prettiest link. There's another way to make it look prettier, but that's, that's a post I'm going to use. Now I'm going to schedule this to go out and we're going to schedule it because I already have stuff for this Friday. I'll schedule it for Friday, the 3rd of April. I'm good with 10 AM. I wanted to go to Twitter as well. Schedule this post. Here's my preview of it with my video, meaning it, it's going to post this video directly to these channels. Schedule the post. It's a one minute video and done. So we just created a bunch of picture videos and stuff that you can post. Scheduled uh, videos, things go out. Oh, it looks I already have uh, two. So I'm going to actually edit this one and go out the week after. Edit the post. This is the good news. You can cut back as many times as you want and edit this. So I'm going to change it now to April 10th and schedule this out. So I've got that done, schedule post. So that's free. Now, one of the things that Lynn Ann asked was, what about saving that video to use later? So I'm gonna show you really quick how to save that to your computer. If you come to designs, here's the video we created. So it's now stored in designs under a video and you can download it to your computer right here, download to computer, and then I can save it to my computer and maybe email it to myself and then go to Instagram directly from my phone. So that's actually something I'll do with this one and I can create that post there until we build in the channel. By the way, I can use that video on LinkedIn, Nextdoor, any other place that I can post content to besides Facebook and Twitter. But again, we wanted to show you what was free and easy to do. Now, the last thing I'll show you is yesterday, let me come back to designs really quick, is I created a lot of content yesterday. So here's a new flyer I'm working on right now for listings. And I actually created some content for social media. Here we go. So like today, I wanna actually post about color covered or tomorrow and that you can save money on home insurance. Kind of like one of the things I was saying we can do. Here's what's neat. I made it in designs. Mm -hmm. So you can go on YouTube and watch the video I made yesterday on how to do this. And I'm going to come to campaigns without downloading to my computer because sometimes we're on the go and command works anywhere. I have internet. And by the way, I didn't mention this, but make sure if you're using this, you use Google Chrome. That's the only browser command will work really good in. So if you ever have anything that doesn't work like mine or is acting weird, Google Chrome is the best browser to use. So I'm gonna come back to social post and we're gonna schedule one for tomorrow. So Thursday, we scheduled that one. Okay, I've got one for Friday. Okay, so let's then create a post then for Monday because it looks like I'm done for this week. Monday, I've got a post, so Tuesday, there we go. If I came to Tuesday the 31st, I don't have anything posted here yet. So I'm gonna come here and I'm going to actually create a post. Now here's what's neat, I can write the text. So I'm gonna say, um, do, 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 what do I say? Oh, are you paying too much for home insurance? The neat thing about this, here are the emojis. So I can go get an emoji and look up home. And then I'm going to use the confused face. Like, are you paying too much? Question mark. Let's see what I come up. Um, actually, let's look at what I got here. Do, do, do. Maybe I'll use the shock face. Yeah, there's not a question one. That's all right, I'll use this one. Are you paying much through home insurance? Did you know we have Keller covered that can help you shop for home insurance on multiple sites and could save you up to 30% on home insurance? Visit kellercovered.com is the website and mention my name, Jay Cermak, 
to unlock savings. And the reason I'm doing it this way is Keller Cover does ask who their agent is in order for it to work, but it is a product they can use. So that's what I'm gonna do for my text of it. I can add more emojis and stuff here and do kind of like a thumbs up at the end, something like that. But I'm gonna choose for my design. Now I can upload my own image, but I can choose for my design. So if I browse my design library, here are all the designs. So I've already got a design for this right here. I'm gonna click it and it's gonna go get the design for me and instantly put the picture in here for me. No downloading to my computer. It's already available. So I've got it already right here. By the way, you can crop if you need to, but I made this a square because the square is one of the universal social media posting sizes. Crop that image and it's done. It's gonna be here now. I can add the office logo if I need it, but I already put it in this picture, so I don't need one. See how it says optional. I don't have to put a logo. By the way, it says DBA logo, which is doing business as. So that would be your market center logo, but if your state doesn't require it, like Florida doesn't require my brokerage logo to be on a graphic, I could really just put my own branding there. Think of it as a watermark. What watermark do you wanna put in your image? Now I could do a video which can also get the neighborhood videos, by the way. So if I did a neighborhood video version, I can just come here to go get the neighborhood video, but I'll go back to the creator. I can upload my own video or get a link from like YouTube. But we're gonna stick with the photo. I already have it in here. I've got my information. I'm gonna schedule this. I already have it set for the 31st, but I wanna schedule it for a little bit earlier. I like posting between eight and 9 a.m. Maybe I'll schedule it for eight. Now, notice my other pages showed up now, so I can do multiple pages on Facebook, which I'm excited about, so I will be using that more often now. But I'm gonna choose Facebook for my team and Facebook for my, uh, or Twitter for my other page. Hit schedule. It's going to preview this for me. So here it is, are you paying too much for home insurance? Did you know we have a product that can save you up to 30%? And the reason I know that saves you up to 30%, it's already built into your app, and that's where I got the verbiage. Our KW app on every listing that they look at says you could save up to 30%, so that's where I got it from. It does work in all states. Um, Keller Mortgage is another product we have, and it works in 49 states, everywhere but New York. Some states with Keller Covered will have more insurance carriers than others, and it might drive the prices down. You guys, anytime we can save money and if people are uncertain, it's just a reason to reach out to them. So I'm gonna schedule that for next Tuesday. And now I have content created for Friday, Monday, Tuesday, all kinds of great stuff. And I did it all from command. Now at the end of this, I will do a 30 minute Q&A if you have questions, but hopefully you're seeing that this is not that painful. I love that this allows me to truly think about my social media strategy. There are a lot of great resources online you can go to. Um, somebody I study regularly is Lori Ballin. That's L-O-R-I, I'll type it in the chat, Ballin. So Lori Ballin is kind of, she was the queen of SEO with Google, she still is. Um, but Lori has all kinds of great content idea and social media posts and she creates what's called a content map with uh, her daughter does it, Sabrina. And they actually give you ideas of what day and what you should be posting every day. Here's the basics of Facebook. If you're going to post on social media, once a month is not enough. But you don't need to post 100 times a day. Best practice, once a day, either three days a week minimum, maybe five days a week, Monday through Friday, post about stuff. And you should mix it up with different things. Mix in a little personal. It can be about business. Your business page should be business. We expect that. And then once in a while, share it to your personal page as well. So that's the free scheduled post. Well, let's talk about Facebook ads. What if I wanna actually pay for one? Now, let me explain Facebook ads. The first thing is the way Facebook works now is if you went to Facebook directly and ran your own ad, first, you'll get confused and lost in all of their information they have, it's too much. The other thing that they do is they don't bill you right away. Um, Put a link in your app, in your Facebook business page. Uh, Kelly, I believe you can. Uh, Facebook has the ability to do what they call widgets, and you could have it be uh, a little widget there. So I'll look up some instructions on that, and I can send that out to you once I get the answer. But I do know Facebook has the ability to add what they call apps or quick links into a Facebook page. So if you want to Google that as well, you can find it and have it be there as well. I find a lot of people don't go to the main business page very often. Um, so I don't tend to put their stuff anymore. I used to put like MLS searches and other things. Just to post is usually good. 
Uh, yeah, Lynn, great question. Is there any value in boosting Facebook ads? No. And the reason I say that is Facebook told me that. So Facebook's our partner. We've been working with them for three years, building the system I'm about to show you. And we went to Facebook headquarters at Mega Camp um, with a group of me and the labs advisors. And we went into Facebook headquarters and they told us that boosting doesn't actually generate much business. Boosting is just your ability to say, here's a post and I want more people to see it. You might get a couple of different likes and stuff, but it doesn't actually produce much business. So their eyes, it doesn't work very well, which is why you will not find it in command. The best thing that works right now is leads. And what we know is your Facebook page is limited. If you only have, let's say my page, I have five, 600 people who like my J team page. That means I can pretty much only going to reach those 500 people I've ever posted anything. Yet I have over 3,800 different friends. Most are realtors for referrals and training and other stuff. Yet I have the ability to reach more there. However, all of us in today's day and age are going to have to go get in front of people we don't know. And that's where Facebook ads really shines is getting people you don't know to build your database. And here's why I say that. We mentioned earlier Zillow. Zillow right now is used to give you a referral lead and they didn't talk to them anymore, right? Referrals in the past from these ad and marketing companies meant they give you the name and they never talk to them again. You guys, Zillow never stops talking to them. Zillow's like, come back to my website, come back to my website and they'll be there. And it'll be coming in um, and coming in with stuff. So um, Latoya, I see what you're saying with your post uh, where you had an issue with the quick post. I've seen that happen before, just contact support. Um, it's probably something where an agent accidentally used it the wrong way. Um, so they're probably working on getting that unflagged. Um, in the meantime, you can still just do a different post and it should go. All right, so this is my ability to do my campaigns. And the reason I was mentioning the Zillow ads is you're spending a lot of money on that. Now, before I go into how to do this ad, there's two things to explain. One is Facebook's billing. So the way Facebook works today is you might run an ad right now you guys, they don't bill you right away. So what I don't like about that is sometimes I would run three different ads. Maybe I spent a hundred bucks and then it would take like seven to eight weeks to randomly get a bill and they racked it all up. So all of a sudden I got hit with like a $400 bill I wasn't prepared for. So it's really hard for budget planning. One of the things that we're doing uniquely is Keller Williams, we're going to charge you for it right up front. So the money's spent and then we're going to have Zillow, uh, Facebook bill us later. Now, the good news of that means you can actually plan your budget. The difference, though, is we don't charge you extra for this tool. Um, we're not making money off this. And if you don't spend all your money, like right now my ad is for $30 and I've spent $23, let's say it ends today, then I'll get a credit for the $6 to use on my next ad. So we're never going to make money off this. We're not, we're just pass through. But one of the great things is two things come with this. One is I can actually have my budget planned. And I'm going to teach you today that you can do a lot of leads for a little bit of money, 25, 30 bucks, just dabble. You can dabble in Facebook leads and get business. The other part of this is you're actually under Keller Williams's master account. And why that matters is you as an individual person, if you run your own Facebook ads, the system and Facebook is going to learn from you. The challenge with that is you'd have to spend as much money as Zillow to run millions of ads for it to really get effective and keep your costs down. Good news is you don't have to know anything about Facebook and you instantly have access to Keller Williams's master account. Meaning we're running this ad as you, but we're doing it under Keller Williams's account that it's been learning from for three years. That's why you're seeing we're getting really low cost per clicks. We're getting really low cost per leads actually best in the industry. And I'll share some examples of that in a second. That's what's the difference is that you can pay someone because there are people trying that right now to get money from you. And I promise you, you're getting someone calling and saying, we'll run the Facebook ad for you. We'll do the post for you. Be careful with that. There's two big risks with this. One, typically they charge you money for it where this tool is free. The other part is they're usually not realtors, meaning they're risking your license when they type the wrong thing. Um, you know, we just heard someone say that she tried to post something and Facebook counted it as abusive. You guys do realize that Facebook was sued twice by the National Association of Realtors. So a lot of the things that you used to do in real estate, you can't anymore because agents abused it. The reason I mention that is most of these companies you're going to hire don't know anything about real estate, meaning they're going to use the wrong words and they might put your license at risk if you use them. 
Good news is I don't have to know anything about it and the system's gonna do it for me at no cost and the AI will work 24 seven for you and help you get in front of the most people, the right people for the cheapest amount. Anywhere, we've, we've studied this across all the different companies. Even the best companies say they can get you as cheap as $5 a lead and we're getting $3.50 a dollar per lead. You would get a dollar per lead, you do it every day. So I wanted to mention that. So the first thing you're gonna have to do is actually come to campaigns and come to payments to add a credit card on file because you do need to have a card stored. Please don't write down my credit cards. I'm not gonna pay for your ads. Um, however, you're gonna see what I'm actually using. So, so far, since I've been using it over a year now, I've only spent about 500 bucks, which for a whole year is not bad. This tells you cost per lead click. There's a lot of little acronyms in here. If you wanna know what that means, click the question mark. It'll explain what a lot of these are. Uh, but you just add a credit card to file. Now, I run multiple businesses. So I have a team, I do recruiting, um, I grow my profit share, I have a coaching company, I do a bunch of stuff. So I have multiple cards that I can use and I can just store them here if I need it. So when you run an ad, it's gonna ask you which card do you wanna use. Just add it, just add a card. And remember I said if it doesn't spend all your money, here's where you'll see any remaining credit. So one time I ran an ad and Facebook actually flagged it and didn't finish running, but KW already billed me 50 bucks. Good news is 50 bucks was just sitting here. So the next time I ran an ad, it took the $50 off of my credit. So the money doesn't go away, it'll still be here for you. So first is adding your credit card. Then we're actually gonna create a campaign, but before I do that, let's show you some examples. So one thing you're going to do is go to jstermack.com slash downloads, and right here is a link to download an article. What I did is put together some best practices. So this is some of the things we're gonna show you. First thing I wanna point out about this is we have something called a Facebook lead capture form. A lot of people ask me, what does this look like? And typically, if you're not targeting yourself, you won't see an ad when you run it. Here's what it what actually looks like. So I ran an ad and this is me and I, I modified the info so I didn't get spammed. However, it actually autofills. This is one of the most powerful tools we have with Facebook, meaning Facebook made this form and already has their name, number, and email address auto-populated. Now that means if they haven't updated their information in a while, it could be wrong. It also means they can override it. So I did, I wrote, overrode it to Goofy Dog so I can test it out because I didn't really want to have to pay for my own ad. So here's what they'll get is a form that says, hey, it'll use your business page, sign up by providing your info below. So it will auto-populate this, by the way, and they can change it if they want to. The next screen is gonna say, hey, agree to our privacy settings. So that's what this will do. Just saying you agree to share with KW, or in this case, the J team, some information. And then when it's done, it's gonna say, thank you, your information has been sent. Click here to view a website. So this tool works really well for new listings. And here's why. I shared with you that Zillow gets 160 million visitors a month, but Facebook gets 2 billion. You guys, they're on Facebook more often than they're on Zillow. And if I'm looking for homes or curious about a home and you post a new listing on Facebook first, I'm more likely to click it and actually go somewhere. So the best ads that work in our industry right now are promoting a new listing or just sold leveraging Facebook. So I'll show you how to do that in a second, but I just wanted to point out, this works really well for that. Where it doesn't work, because I did this recently, is your new KW app. So I promoted and ran my ad for my app and I did get a couple clicks, but here's the trick. Our app makes you sign in also. So they had to register twice. They did not like this. Uh, yes, Dave, we're recording this. I'll share the recording after. So it does not like you having to answer a question twice. So I learned people signed up on my app on Facebook from here, but then they didn't use my app when they got it downloaded it. So my aha was don't use this form if it takes them to a web page that makes them register a second time, because it won't work, the consumer will get mad. That's just my aha, but I'll teach you how to make those. So here's some ideas people are running. So this is a team in Coral Springs, the Great Florida Homes team. Um, they actually just posted one of their listings with the learn more. I'm gonna teach you how to create this. My only advice to them would be they use the wrong logo because it's got this weird black background, but it's just basically a slideshow promoting a new spectacular location, gorgeous views. Click here to learn more. This type of ad crushes it on Facebook right now. 
Another one that we ran, this is from Nick Baldwin. He did one on talking about an area, right? Hey, this is a sought after neighborhood. Take a peek and it says, see this, the data Zillow doesn't offer. Uh, be careful. We know Zillow is inaccurate. Just be careful not to badmouth them, right? No one really likes it when you say something bad about another company. However, this is something Nick was running to see, hey, here's a preview. And what he did is took screenshots of his app and just made it a slideshow. So that's an aha of, hey, here's a different way I can use a video to show my app, or I can just use the screenshots to say, look at what's different about our technology versus anybody else. So I liked that one. Um, by the way, these all came from a Facebook page called Command Your Conversion. So there's two big Facebook groups out there for command. One called KW Command. That's good for how-tos and tech support issues. And then we have another group called Command Your Conversion, which is really good for helping you earn money and run your business with command. So there are two groups that are great. I recommend and I'm in both of them. Um, so here's one from Kevin uh, Charles up in, uh, he's in the Cleveland and Pittsburgh area. So these are the ads he's running right now. And he uses the tagline, Attention Medina. So he's targeting a specific area. You might learn from that because you're gonna find out from Facebook, you can't go too close anymore. Like I can't go in only the neighborhood. I have to go within 15 miles. So this is focusing on if you care about Medina, then this ad will reach your attention. And then he just literally said the same, actually it's the same text, just different image. We are compiling a list of property value reports in your area. See how much your home's value has increased, click here. Actually, I like it because it's a different version of the same message and he just used a different image. One was a picture of a house, one was a picture of a map with some dots, and one was a map with a house and just a different view. So this is a different way. He's doing one in Pittsburgh as well. What I like about this is it's different than just see what your home is worth. This says see your value increase. It's a different way of wording it because a lot of people I find around Zillow actually get into their estimates there. So those are some good ones. So what kind of results are people getting? So here's an agent who got a Facebook ad was run. He spent 30 bucks, got 627 people to see it. So an impression just means a view. He got 92 people to click on it and 17 people gave him their name, number, and email address for 10 days. I mean, he's crushing it. That's a great result. So he was getting his leads per click down to $1.40 and his cost per click down to 26 cents. You guys, you can't pay somebody to get you those results. That's amazing. Um, Press McKissick, he is, uh, runs a region in Ohio Valley. And it's actually Linda McKissick's son, if you know Linda McKissick, our top property earner. So he ran a Facebook ad and he did multiple. So you're going to hear a term called A-B testing. Like try this, try that. There is no exact science to this. It just depends on the people and what you're selling to get good results. So here's what he did. One was homes listed under 300,000 in an area. He got 1,500 impressions, 89 people clicked on it, and 10 people gave him his name, number, and email address that were brought into command automatically. So for 35 bucks, that got him a cost of $3.50 per lead. It's a lot cheaper than the $50 per lead from Zillow or the $3,600 coming soon per Zillow. And it's a lot cheaper than those other companies saying five to $6 per lead. He ran another one that homes with price reductions in the last seven days, got 1,500 people to see it again, 78 clicks and 12 leads this time, down to 2.92 cents. These are real data. So I wanna show you what actually people are getting. And we'll explain these, uh, what those mean, but the impressions, like I said, it's the views. I would say eyeballs, but it'd be one eyeball, meaning one person saw it while scrolling through. Remember the game is to stop the scroll. So they actually got 1,500 people saw this. That's 1,500 people seeing Keller Williams Community Partners and talking about these. And this is the actual video or uh, picture of the ad he ran. Similar to Kevin's actually, it was just a screenshot of a map saying here's some homes in a specific price range, click here to see more. So those ones work. Um, some other things people did, here's one with Kevin, um, or not Kevin, uh, this was Nick Baldwin. He did one on uh, Keller Mortgage. So he promoted Keller Mortgage to save money. It took him here. He even had a chat with a person. You could save money. You may not need much down. He's having a conversation with them. And what he got on this one is five leads and they were costing about $5 each. So the listing properties get you a much better re uh, return on your investment, but you can still do one on Keller Mortgage. 
Um, this person ran a big ad with 33 different campaigns and got 159 leads. So I'm spending $1,000 a month on Zillow to get 20, 30 leads, and you're spending $475 on 33 different messages and getting 159 leads. 34 people were contacted, 125 people still on a smart plan he made, eight people are going to buy in 2020, and three people will buy next year. He did the math. If the average commission in his area is $7,500, this is $60,000 in GCI for a $475 investment. He said that would be $60 per closing, not to mention any future business referrals. Where can you trade $60 for the same effort of $7,500? That was just a raving fan of what he got from this. So I'm not doing this to say, hey, look at us, we're so great. I want you to see that it's, it's proven. People have actually used it. Here's the results they're getting. Here's a listing. Um, this one was really great. This one got down 342 clicks for four cents a click. Four cents a click. 2,500 people saw a simple first time home buyers and investors. Here's the split home of your, your dreams at this price. Click here to see a 3D tour. He got 24 people who actually clicked on it and gave them the name, number, and email address for 58 cents. You guys, I wish I had the listing to do this with. That's crazy. Here's my advice. If you don't have a listing, go ask an ALC member if you can use one of their listings and you'll teach them how to do this. I can get a lot of leads. This is insane. 24 people. And this is only spending $13 so far. They didn't even spend the whole 40 bucks. So $13 got them 24 leads at 58 cents a lead. It's just crazy. It's bonkers. Um, here's another one from Nick Baldwin. So 17 app leads from Facebook. He spent $65. It cost him $3.82 each to keep him off Zillow. That's his whole mantra. 172 properties searched. So they're using his website and his app. He put them on a smart plans and they came into command like this with the tags so he can track them. Another person ran one. This is from two hours ago. So this agent just ran an ad for a foreclosure ad. Reach out for a list of foreclosures. Now he was targeting investors specifically. And this is by far as low as cost per lead he's ever gotten in California, which was 11 contacts in 12 hours at 72 cents per lead. And they haven't even called any yet. It's super easy. We're running side-by-side -side ads now. So he's testing this. So the goal of showing you this was to give you inspiration and let you know this does work. So when I'm going to show you how to do it, know that it works. Ask questions, play with this, dabble, try it out for 20 bucks. So Jay, how the heck do you do this? How can I create one of these ads? And here are my real results if you wanted to see them. Uh, my worst one was, this is the one I did my app and I ran the app. Cool thing is I get 800 people who saw the J team and 56 people clicked on it but only four people were willing to give me their name, number, and email address. And those four people, by the way, came into command, but they were not happy to have to register on my app also. So this one, now I'm getting 46 clicks. So 46 people got my app and I'm just waiting for them to register on it now. And 1300 people saw it this way. All right, so we're going to create a new campaign. Now here's where I can go for social ads. Social ads are paid Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Search ads would be paid if you want to run it on Google. There's also the free we did, which is social post, mailings, and email. So I'm going to do social ad. Now this is going to ask you, what's the name of the campaign? Meaning, what do you want to call this? So if you're promoting your app or a specific listing, just use the listing name. So maybe I said 123 Main Street. Now I might want to run one on my mobile app, so I might just say KW app for this. Now this, what is your goal? doesn't actually do anything but teach command what you're trying to do. So the future of this data is eventually if we all said, um, yes, you can actually share that new KW app ad. You can save it to your computer and share that one out, Edgar. Um, so what is your goal? I can actually advertise a listing, advertise multiple listings, attract a listing. So it's what are you trying to accomplish? And what command is going to do is start studying everybody ever who ran an ad on getting more listings what were the best practices and what were the results? So in the future, you're actually gonna get suggestions on what are the best things to do. So this is advertising one listing. This would be advertising five listings at the same time. Attracting a listing if you're looking to get more sellers. Attract talent is for hiring or growing your team. Brand awareness, this is what I use if I'm promoting my app. I just want people to know about it and I wanna get my brand out there. 
event awareness would be for like an open house. Attract buyers if you want to get like renters to convert to buyers or you want to get more buyers. Or if it doesn't fit into one of these seven, choose other. Again, this doesn't physically do anything to the ad. It's just giving you suggestions. Of uh, It's teaching the machine what you're trying to do. So where will you run your ad? Now, I can choose Facebook and Instagram. Now, settings does not have Instagram built in because Instagram is owned by Facebook. So if you run a Facebook ad, you can have that ad show up on Instagram. In my testing, Facebook does really well with this. And when I add it to Instagram as well, I don't get the same views and results. So Instagram is newer to the ads and I get better results on Facebook. So that's why I'm only teaching you Facebook today. If you want to try it out, you can click Instagram as well. And if you connected Twitter, you can click here. I haven't done that one yet. So if you didn't connect to any of these, it will tell you, do you want to collect it now? So I'm just going to do Facebook. So we click set up campaign. Now here's the layout. The left side is everything about the campaign. And the right side is going to be a preview of what you're going to see on a mobile device and what the Facebook preview is going to look like. Now, if it was a listing, I can go get the listing details, the data and the photos automatically from KWLS. So if I clicked add a listing, I can go find my listings or go find another agent's listings here. So if I looked up a listing agent, I got John O'Flaherty. He's a million dollar real estate agent in my office. I could find some of his, oops, looked up his name weird. Did not like his O'Flaherty. There he is. Okay, so here's rentals. There's a million dollar listing. I can select this listing, by the way, and auto generate a lead and an ad from his listing. Now, if it's not your listing, get permission before you do this. <laughs> if it's your listing though, here's an easy way to create a social media campaign with it. But I'm gonna take that out of here. I don't actually want a listing in there. I just wanna show you it's possible. It's not required by the way. So I'm gonna ignore it by the way. I'm just gonna delete that out. Delete the copy and I'm gonna write my own. Now I wanna promote my app. So let's say I do this with the app. Um, Dave, nobody's listing show when you say Show, switch it from only my listings to all listings, and you should be able to find it by your name. So if you switch to listing agent name, I should be able to find your listings. For whatever reason, the glitch is it doesn't show under my listings, just search it to all. By the way, you can also look at closed if you want to go find any of your sold listings. You can run one there as well. All right, so I'm going to do the main copy. Let's say I want to do something simple, real estate. 2.0 is what I'm coining it, is here. Experience a new way of handling your real estate needs. I'm just writing this on the spot, <laughs> just to give you an idea of what I'm gonna write. Of your real estate needs, I'm gonna come here and use an emoji. I'm gonna use the app emoji so I can type in phone. I like the one with the arrow, so it looks like download. You can search by neighborhoods, collaborate with other buyers, um, save thousands with Keller Mortgage, save up to 30% on home insurance, Uh, get guided on the buying and selling process. Oh, I have only 250 characters. I went too long. So I'll just say and, and more. So that's what I'm going to do for the text of it. So main copy will go right above the image on the right. Now headline, what do I want to say? I'm going to say uh, download our real estate 2.0 home search app. And I'm actually going to copy the emoji icon Oops, and paste it here. So this is an ad I'm actually gonna run here. Oops, nope, I don't want the neighborhood link. I want this, copy, there we go. Uh, description, I'm not gonna use this, uh, or sorry, I am gonna use it. So the description would go below it, but the description only shows up if you don't do the landing page. So if you wanna use Facebook's landing page to get their name, number, and email address, if you put a description in, it ignores it, just to warn you. However, we're going to actually have them register on the app. So I'm going to say um, there is nothing like this app out on the market. Inman has already rated it best in class for real estate 
home search apps. This is all true data. I'm just using what information is out there. All right, so that might be the text I have. So I wrote a description up above. I'll have my media in the center, a headline that bolds it, and then I'll have a description underneath. Now the media, here would be the listing photos if you did the listing, but I'm gonna choose a video and I've already made a video. So I'm gonna go get the media for this. It's actually on my computer, on my desktop. I made a fun video I'm doing right now. Uh, where is it? Here we go. This one. Uh, it is good enough, perfect. So there is limitations on video. It has to be less than 10 minutes and less than 250 megabytes. So this is a 35 megabyte, 46 second mini preview video. I basically took the Kelloins listing video they gave us for the app and I shortened it because I find short videos do better. So this video is a mini preview and says download my app today. So I kind of hybrided using what KDB gave me and made my own version of it. Um, I'm going to just hit continue. So I'm now gonna have the text that I wrote and this is the video right there. So I'm gonna save that video. By the way, you can change it to a different video. And if you do images, you can select up to five videos. So if I come to images and add more, here's all the listing photos if it was really a listing. So the neat thing is it has all the data of the photos. I'm gonna show the boat dock, preview and crop. It makes you crop each one, which is good because in my board, we have this lovely little watermark they added. And I could do a multiple photos and it makes a slideshow for you automatically. So if you wanna do Nick Baldwin's version of this, just do screenshots of your app. Be showing what the app can do to be differently, but I like the video better because video does better in Facebook ads and leads. So that's the media. Now Facebook ad is the last part of this. Um, and we're almost done, I promise. Uh, so this is where it has my count, where it looks personal, but then I have to choose which business page. So right now it's showing Keller Williams as generic. When I choose the business page for the J team, it's going to flip to my logo and my information. So this is the preview. Now here's the choices, destination. The default says use Facebook lead gen form. Now I showed you that, that's in your download here. That is this, this is a Facebook lead capture form. It does not work if you have them download your app because the app is gonna make them register. So in this example, I'm not gonna use it. However, if you wanted it to be a new listing or something, then you would wanna use it. So I'm actually gonna use, use a site or landing page. Good news is the landing page is already built in for my app. Now I'm gonna say sign up for the app because you actually have to sign up. And they need to sign up to use the app. Destination URL, I can make them go to the link for my app or choose from site. And right here is my, download my app landing page. We all have a landing page that's already created for you if you set up your mobile app. Now I could put in my own web link and this just means they're gonna see this video, click a button and sign up for that app by clicking here to go to the app. So Facebook lead is, I'm gonna capture your name, number and information and they just click the next button. Use the site or landing page means click this button and go to a web page to register later. So there's two methods you might need it for. Do. Yeah, the listing one, Dave, um, I have a video on it. If you go to YouTube, I made a video on just how to do a listing specifically. So I don't have time today to show that one, but if you go there, um, if you have questions in my next 30 minutes, I'll do Q and A on that one. Um, so let me get through this and I'll show that version. All right, so then I've got my targeting. This is where the magic happens. You always wanna use custom settings. Now the default, it had a city there, only because I chose a listing. So it'll always default to the listing city within about 20 miles, but you're gonna say use custom settings and I'll show you why you wanna do this. You can go anywhere. So if you were targeting people moving to your area, like we get a lot of people from all over. Actually looking in Keller Williams, a lot of our referrals come from Miami, moving to Fort Lauderdale or Pompano Beach because it's more inexpensive, or they might be coming from another state. So I can target anywhere I want throughout the US. So I'll just keep it around Pompano Beach and you can go as close as 15 miles and as far away as 50. You can't go any closer than that. So I can't go any less than 15 miles. 
So I'll just keep it around 20 miles here to get it in front of those people. Now there is a little button here to learn about database targeting. That's more advanced. In the future, you're gonna be able to target people you already know. Now the location's great, but it's not enough. So I'm gonna click here to add what we call expert targeting. Now here's what's neat. Where are the consumers? We already said the Z word, they're on Zillow. So if you're targeting people who are thinking about buying or selling, guess what? Use things like Zillow against them. So I can say, if you like Zillow and Facebook, you're gonna see my ad. If you like Trulia and Facebook together, you're gonna see my ad. If you like realtor.com, that's the trifecta right now, these three platforms get the most amount of real estate searches. Now there's other things in here. Some stuff's missing, like they don't have anything for boats anymore. I think they took that out. Um, but there's an entire list that you can come through to find out what are people looking for. The tip I learned, if you're looking for people who are looking for um, renters, you could target like renters insurance. There's other things, but these are the three main ones that I'm gonna use for this example. Meaning if you are on Facebook and you like Zillow, Trulia, or River.com, you're gonna see my app within 20 miles of Pompano Beach. The reason this matters is notice there's nothing here to discriminate against, meaning no exclude. The reason is because the association kept suing Facebook. You can't discriminate against age, color. We know all these things, but agents used it that way. So the best way to get rid of people who may not be, you know, a 15 year old on Facebook probably isn't looking to buy or sell. The good news is they're probably not liking Zillow, Trulia, or Real.com either. This just increases my chance to get people who are actually interested in real estate to then look at me. So that's some uh, information here. There's other interests you can explore if you want, but these are the three. If you're looking for clients to buy or sell, you should always use. So I'm going to save that one. And the last step before I launch this is my budget. Now it starts off with $30 for 10 days, which is about $3 a day. Now, if my cost per click are averaging a dollar to two, that means I get about two clicks. So what Facebook recommends is they usually say about five to $8 a day for the best results. However, I'm seeing great results from just leaving alone and saying $30, 10 days, let it go, which will actually be on my birthday, April 5th. So I'm actually gonna run it for this and let it run so I can test this out and see what the results are for this shorter video to say, click here and experience a new way of searching for homes. So I'm gonna save this duration of budget. Here is the preview of the mobile version of it. There's the web version. Hit publish and it's gonna ask me which credit card to use. So I'll use this one so I can write it off on my business. Click create and I've now created a one. Thank you, Edgar. Happy early birthday, I appreciate it. And now I've created an ad about the app. There's tons of ways to do these as I shared some of those examples. You can choose a listing, you can choose multiple listings if you want. Um, this will take a moment to load because it's uploading the video right now. And then once it's done, uh, the ads take about 12 to 24 hours to approve. That's just Facebook, it's not Keller Williams. Facebook has a 24 hour window till they approve your ad. Usually they go pretty quick, um, but if you ever see it saying pending, that's why. So while that's loading here, just to recap what we did today, we actually came through your campaigns we leverage the free social posts to actually schedule out content throughout the week, made quick videos and quick social posts that you can customize. We then actually were able to go to our uh, paid ads. Oops, sorry, I'm showing you things that don't exist yet. Uh, the paid ads and actually start running things to get my cost per click, get it in front of more people. And now I'm, I'm running a social media campaign. Here's the one I have currently running, which is another ad, and now I've got a new one. Uh, yes, Edgar, I'll show you guys the video that I made, my, my cut of it. Um, I'll probably make a version of it without my branding on it, and then you guys can use it. I'm fine with that. I just shortened it so it was uh, simpler. And just like that, now it's in process. Once it's done, it'll say approved. So now I'm gonna run a second ad. I already ran one. 1,300 people saw it in 46 clicks. I'm good with that. If one person downloads the app and buys a house, you guys, it paid me 30 bucks. I'm good with that. This is a way to leverage command to get your information out there and leverage the power of Facebook.
So hopefully you found value in this. I know we went a few minutes over, so thank you for staying with us. Um, again, you can get the download on jcermeccom slash downloads. Here is the handout of what I did and shared for you so you guys have examples. Um, just to give you some tips for next week, I have more classes coming up. So if you click live streams on my website, jcermeccom here's the class we just did. And next week we're gonna do the KW app setup on Monday for one hour. Command your website on Tuesday for an hour and then buyer and seller guides in the KW app next week. So basically think of next week as the ability to do your consumer experience. Now's the time to slow down a moment and create this consumer experience because you guys, these tools are so great to share with people now that want a digital experience because the world has forced them into their house, but they still need to buy, sell, and invest. So these three classes are here. They will all be at two o'clock Eastern that's uh, 1 p.m. Central and 11 a.m. Mountain Standard Time or Pacific Time right now. So great content, more resources coming your way. And as always, you can also follow me on YouTube if you haven't seen it there. So thanks, guys, for joining us today. Um, there's tons of videos on YouTube as well. We don't need to hear me speak. Uh, and I'm going to stay on after this now to answer questions if you guys have any. And I will hang on for 30 minutes and answer questions. So thanks guys for being here. For those watching live, I'm gonna stop the live stream and we will pick it back up when we get back to uh, everything we're doing. So I'm gonna stop sharing there, stop the live stream. All right, hey guys, I'm floating in the blue background so you don't see my uh, bed with the dog sitting on it. And uh, it's open to you guys now. So does anybody have any questions or anything I can answer for you? I have a question. Yes. When you, when we run an ad in a Facebook, when we create the ad, um, there is a part that it says, uh, or you can put the click to go to my app, to mm -hmm. sign up for my app. When I create the app in my, in my command, my link will be automatic or do I have to put the link? Oh, uh, it should be automatic. So when oh, okay. I chose it, I'll show you Yeah, When I chose it, and here's how we'll know for sure. I'll show you the entire process of it. So I'm going to come back to command again. Um, first thing you guys need to do is verify your app is set up. So we're going to do that really quick in command under consumer. So if you come to consumer and come to site and app settings, this is where it will tell you the link to your app. So if you don't know what the link to your app is, here's another way to get it. Um, and then that's one of those things, Dave, that you need to copy this and put it in your marketing profile so it's there every time. But that's where the link lives. This page, just so you see what it looks like, is going to actually take them to a web page. So it also is a landing page, automatically branded to you, that just says click here to download it. So that's why it's gonna use it automatically in Facebook. So what you had asked me is if I run an ad in Facebook, so I'll come back to campaigns, I'll go back to creating an ad really quick and show you that link, how it gets it automatically. So I'll just say test, doesn't matter what we call this. Facebook ad, oops, uh, brand awareness. I'm just getting back to the same spot so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so under the Facebook ad part, when I choose my page, oops, that's the office, uh, J team. Here you go, follow up destination URL. So this will send them somewhere. If you choose the site, notice this link is the same. So when I clicked it, it already had it there for me. So it does oh. automatically put it there for you. But if you aren't sure, you can always put it your own link and copy and paste it here. Oh, I can just click in, in my, okay, perfect. Under the site, you can just click here and it will tell you, because it even has your own website. So it'll, it'll have these two for you automatically. Okay, perfect, thank you. You got it. Okay, who else has a question? Hello. Hey Jay, I got a question. I I just I just created my business page. Okay. As far as the name, I didn't know. I mean, I did one up in Michigan where I would put my name and then I'd put a, a dash and then I put Coldwell Banker. So okay. down, down here, all I did was just put my name and a dash, and then I would say Keller Williams Realty Professionals, and that's the name. Correct. That correct. Yeah. That's fine. That will work. Um, you want to have it there. I 
need to update mine. It should say the J team, Keller Williams Realty Professionals. Um, I have it with the J team for a lot of, but it usually would be like J Cermak with Keller Williams Realty Professionals. So that is the correct way to name it. Um, the state's not as going after agents in Florida like other states do, but that's best practice. It should always be your name or your team name and then the company you're with. So, yep, okay. that, that's a good name. That'll work. So I can go ahead and invite everybody that's on my, on my friends or my profile page or whatever, invite them onto the business page. Exactly. Say, I've got great news. I'm in sunny South Florida and I can help with your needs. <laughs> yes, hi, Jay. It is awesome. Yeah. Thank you. You got it. Yes, Lynn. Yes. Hi. Um, did I understand correctly that if we run an ad in this way through Facebook, our bill comes on our statement from our office, from our market center, not from Facebook? Oh, no. I, actually, it won't be from the market center. It'll be from Keller Williams instantly. You'll get an email receipt and it bills your card instantly. It'll come from, it'll say Keller Williams on the credit card statement. Okay. So when I just ran that right now, my credit card just got charged 30 bucks. Facebook, ha our KW has the money and then they just deal with Facebook's billing because it's erratic. Okay. All so right. they're just holding the money for me. But yeah, it won't come from the office. It'll come from my credit card and it will say Keller Williams on the statement. Okay. Thank you. Good question. You and, and I can use that for taxes, right? I mean, I can Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm going to write this off and use it for my marketing. I'll have a receipt. It emails you a receipt as well. So you can print that out or send it to your accountant and you'll get an email receipt telling you, you paid $30 for Facebook ads and here it is. Okay. Thank you. Uh, something some people are doing as well, if you want a tip is um, some mortgage people or um, title companies are actually working with agents to pay for some of this. You can even get their credit card and put it on file if you want to have it sponsored just as an idea. So if you guys want to test this out and don't want to spend money, just share the leads with anybody and say, hey, mortgage guy or my title person or inspector, let's run an ad together. I'll share the leads with you and let them pay for it. It's a good example. <laughs> yeah. It's a way to keep your costs down. But here's what I know. They're looking for business too. And they're looking to partner with it. And people are more likely to talk to you before they're ready to talk to the mortgage guy. So might as well save money that way. I can get 25 bucks or give me $25 credit and I will spend that money wisely in my system. Okay. Awesome. Uh, anybody else have any questions that I can answer while we're here together? I have another question. I yeah. want to make sure I understood something that you talk about in the class and it was, um, if I don't have a listing, but one of my, one person in my office had a listing, I can talk with that person and I can run an ad to find a buyer. Correct. So that would help me and that would help the listing agent, right? Correct. So what I'm finding is, and the neat thing is you're willing to do this. I bet you the agent you're going to ask isn't. So why don't you say, hey, to be fair, I'll teach you how to do it on your system. If you let me run an ad on your listing and I'll see if I can get a buyer. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that, that's what I'm hearing. And we're, we're sharing that around because if you think about it, isn't that our culture? Let's help each other out. Let's get it sold. Just, just approach them and say, hey, agent, I want to help you sell that listing too. Would it be okay if I ran an ad for you to see if we can't get some sales and get a buyer for your listing? Mm -hmm. That's a win-win. Okay, yep. okay. And if they say no, good news, go ask someone else. They'll say yes. I promise somebody will say yes. <laughs> Everybody, at least in agent would like to find a buyer, you know? Correct. Well, here, here's the other thing. If that's true, then don't just pick any listing. Go be strategic. Like, where do you want to be known for? Where's somebody in your neighborhood? Where's mm -hmm. something here? Now, don't do it with an outside agent, not with KW, but just get permission. In our no, state, no, all no, you need I, is something in writing. No, when, I, when I'm thinking about running an app to, buy a, to find a buyer, I'm thinking someone from a listing agent from Keller Williams, you know, like mm -hmm. in my office because Correct. it's in my area. So I'm exactly. not, I'm not, I'm not thinking about, I'm not thinking about anybody, any listing agent from other company, forget it. Hey, no. that's profit share though. What, what if you do this and say, look what I did in my system in five minutes and look at the results I got. You should come check out Keller Williams. Wow. <laughs> It's another way. So I, I, you may not get the listing from them, but what a great way to share your story. So when you get this and you do this, Maricel, share it as a testimonial and then go share with the other agents saying, whoa, my company just helped me run an ad. I got 15 leads for 30 bucks, whatever it is. Would you like to know how I did it? Let's talk. 
So Jay, so that means that one moment, because that now you made me think about other things that I didn't consider before. But it means like, for example, if, um, if I know an agent from, I don't know, Cowell Bank, yep. had a listing, I can promote her listing through this Facebook in Keller Williams? Technically you can if you get permission. Now, they may not want you to do that. I might just run it on my own, but I, I would just share the results with them. But technically you could say, hey, you wanna see how this works? Let's, let's promote your listing and see what leads we get. Hmm. It does have access, this system, that KWLS does have access to every listing in America, no matter where it is. But what, but what you mean like, um, who wouldn't like that, Keller Williams? Or oh, what? no. Some, some companies are so competitive, the other agent might get uncomfortable about that. We would be okay, as long as you have permission. Oh, okay. I would okay. use it more as just a conversation to get them into curiosity. Remember, your job is never to recruit. Is that, no, no, I But know. I can say, let me show you what I did with my system. My, my tech trainer taught me this. What are you guys doing for Facebook? Nothing, mm -hmm. it'll be crickets. Okay, well, you should come talk to my team leader or come to one of the classes next time. And let me share with you how we're actually getting rid of Zillow because I can spend less money and get more business using Facebook leads. Because mm -hmm. okay. they're all going to be looking for that right now. So Good. don't, I'm not saying go get their listing, but I am saying if you share this story, they're all in the same scare right now. And you guys are learning something right now that I promise they're not being taught at their company, right? They're probably head in the sand going, what are we going to do? Sky is falling. And you guys are learning how to maximize your business so that you can keep running. Perfect. Awesome. You. you got it. Anyone else have any other questions before we end this? I like Kelly's background. She's got the fun flowing. That's where I wish I was right now instead of my bedroom. <laughs> hey, Jay. Yeah. Um, uh, hi, you don't know me. I'm from um, Allen, uh, hi, Texas. I, I at least see your uh, 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 name. <laughs> yeah. Um, do you have any training on doing email campaigns through command yet? Kind of. Um, right now, your best way with email would be smart plans. I did that this week. Um, right. The only reason I mentioned that is the, the mass email isn't totally ready yet. It requires MailChimp, and it's not free right now. Um, oh, okay. We're still finishing our own called command email. So mm -hmm. the way I got around that is I can create a smart plan, put a bunch of people on it, and smart plans can auto email from command for free. Okay. Okay. So if you watch the custom smart plan, at least you can think okay. about, I want to mass email a bunch of people and just create a simple smart plan that says one email blast. Okay. And that's okay. around for now. Okay. Thank you. You got it. All right, guys. Well, hopefully you got value. Like we said, we got the YouTube channel. If there's anything I can help you with. And again, next week, we're going to have three great topics of your mobile app, your website, and the buying and selling guides. I think it's time to roll out Real Estate 2.0 to the world. That's what I'm coining it. I'm actually building it for my team right now. And I'm going to share with you what I actually did to mine so you guys can literally copy and paste and replicate that. And thanks for all being here. What I will do, um, it was asked if I can share the video I made of my shortened version for 45 seconds of my app. So I'll make it so that it's generic that you guys can actually use it if you want. And I'll share that with you as well if you want to run an ad for a 45 second version. It's actually got fun music. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. I will post this video as well. And I will email you guys the link and join us next week for three hours of more training. Thank you, Jay. You're welcome. Have a good one, guys. Okay, thank you. Bye. Thank Bye. you, Jay. You got it. <laughs>